Hello there, well, it's got a bit drier now, uh, it's been raining a lot in the last uh, few days uh, and it's pretty windy as well uh, but I thought as it's sort of a little bit dry at the moment uh, we'll crack on with the front panel on the van um, the idea really is to, to see if I'm getting it to fit again but uh, using bolts rather than, or screws even, no, bolts, yeah rather than uh, glue, so we'll, we'll see how we go so, See, the front panel's not very strong. Very thin plastic, and uh, just uh, come down here. Uh, it's quite badly damaged at the bottom. Um, so the idea was to try to uh, come back with it because I can't quite get onto the whole picture. Um, the idea being to cut this part out here. Hopefully you can still hear me because of the wind, but uh, anyway, we'll see. Uh, yeah, so it's basically to cut out the bits that are cracked and broken. And it seems uh, quite a lot of it is cracked and broken. But uh, after doing that then the idea will be to put some, some sort of baton. Uh, I've got something in mind uh, across the bottom. But what I was thinking was um, might be a better idea to fix it onto the van first, just in case uh, I start uh, fiddling around sawing things and fixing batons to, to strengthen the bottom. Uh, and we find that when I put it onto the van, it's twisted. So, because it's quite thin, there's always that danger that uh, it's going to be distorted or something when I put it back on. So, the idea is, is that um, the main idea is to fix it on here, either side, with um, bodywork screws, uh, sort of screws with like a spring-loaded uh, nut and uh, unscrew them from the outside rather than having to stick your hand underneath the, the wheel arch to, to unscrew the front panel. The other problem is, is that here you've got like a square where the, it's like a bolt with a square plastic piece on the end fits into it. So you've got a bolt either side, uh, uh, the bolt that, that was originally on the van, uh, not the bolts I'm going to be putting on myself. Uh, on this side the square has actually disappeared because it's all cracked and broken. So what I was thinking of doing is to put some epoxy putty across here to try to make up the square again. And then if it's too small, uh, file it to, to size. So that's going to be the first bit really. So what I've got to do now is to figure out how I'm going to clamp this back back onto the van and then mark out where I'm going to put the screws. Hmm. So you can see here you've got um, one of the bolts. In an earlier video I showed you that it's like a square bolt that goes into the side of the bumper. Um, if we go to the other side, just to give you an idea. So that fits in. I'll get it in. There we go. So that fits in the square there. You can see it's all intact. Uh, so these are the bodywork screws I bought. Um, we've got like a, a spring loaded thing here. And the rest of the screw goes into that side. So it's quite useful because. Um, so if you have it this bit against the bodywork and the screw going through this way, like that, um, you can at least put a thin metal rod of some sort here, because this will be, the idea really is that this will be sort of inside there holding, get a bit further away so we can see. Um, holding this part of the the wing in down to the mud guard. So I probably need to put in one, two, and then three. So one, one there, one there just above the bolt, and then one here on the mud guard because that's going to flop about a bit. So the idea would be to have three of those with a, a screw, three of these here with a screw. 
and uh, we'll see if that's any good but I need to mark where I'm going to put the holes and um, let's put that back where it was close that and keep it windy and don't want screws and stuff all over the all over the ground so this side obviously the this is the side where the square is still intact behind this panel and on this side things get a bit more complicated because we still, I've still got the camera attached to the tripod so you have to excuse me, get strange angles because I've just gone round near the hedge and I haven't got much room to move so this side we've got a problem because there's a nice big gap and it doesn't fit it doesn't fit around the headlamp either so I'm going to try to see what I can do about um, putting that into place of course I've not found my epoxy putting to repair this thing I've been looking for about half an hour for it and as usual the thing that you're looking for has disappeared so I'll have to go and buy another tube uh, to repair that but for now all I want to do is get the the holes drilled on this side as well so three holes one perhaps two and three I need to measure them out and work out where they go in relation to the overlap which is just inside there and then uh, we'll touch it that way so at the moment I've just got two of those bodywork screws, screws sorry, holding the the front end in here no screw, no bolts on it or anything just holding it in so it doesn't fall off and we can see what it looks like back with its face on again because it hasn't been like that for probably since uh, before confinement before lockdown so yeah it's nice to see its nice friendly face back together or almost back together so at the moment it's just a case of seeing where I'm going to fix it probably fixing it temporarily for now and then afterwards I'll take it off and repair the horrible damage at the bottom there and redo the, the grill so we're dodging the rain showers a little bit this afternoon uh, between me trying to find the epoxy putty and having to take breaks from rain uh, this job is getting to be a bit slow so well, I'm, I'm no woodworker, my dad would turn in his grave because he was, he was, it was his job, he was a pattern maker and so I've haphazardly cut some pieces of wood, the idea being that three of them together about fits, like that's about level with the, the mud guard, so the idea is to put the clamp, trying to think, yeah it'll have to go there I think. Yeah, that's it, across the across the joint there and then clamp it clamp it together and they'll be able to work out where to put the holes so we'll get on with that so we'll just put that underneath hold it there and might just hold it a bit further up so I need to, I need to put a hole here Move it a bit further across that way, that's it. And I have to drill it there like that. So I need to put these together. Let's just see if that's going to stay. Right, now what I need to do now is to slightly loosen it from this side. You need to try to line, line it up. So, if you can move, you can put your hand there and move that, that bit down. That's it. Yeah, and I think that's going to be okay at the top. So I need to move that up this way. Drill. 
Do you want to show me Right. I'm just about to drill a hole here. So. Do the same on the other side uh, when when I've drilled these holes because um, the problem is is that that side is about how it was I think. There's a gap there. But so with my handy helper Remy, who doesn't want to be on camera, we've managed to fix the the blocks to the bodywork and clump it so I've marked where I'm going to put my holes there's one there one there and then there's one now I hope I'm going to get my drill in there somehow so the idea now is to do a small hole and do a bigger one the same size as the screws I've got my son Remy filming me for a change instead of Emma so I'm going to make camera people out of you before long um, he's trying not to make me laugh Stop laughing. You're not supposed to make the person who's been filmed laugh, okay? So, it seems we've succeeded with uh, fitting these bolts. A bit closer, Remy. Okay, there we go. So, the spring loaded uh, nuts at the back held pretty well. Uh, I can just get my hand, if I can say it, just get my, about get my hand <coughs> under there and touch this top one. So, job done I think. Next problem is doing the other side. We've got the bolts on this side done. Well, this one was a bit of a problem because uh, it's not quite flush and that screw is a little bit too close to the edge. But apart from that it's okay. But I think it was just from accident damage and it caused this to, to break and this to come out of alignment or something. So now the soundproofing has been removed you can see that all of that where the soundproofing was is rusty all the way in there that's the front bar that goes I'm trying to think that attaches to the to the bar that holds the suspension leg and the suspension leg is there big thick bar is what holds the suspension leg and then this little bar is I think welded to the big bar and comes around the front here it moves about quite a bit at the front so there's nothing holding it to the chassis at the front there ok so uh, I'm going to have to open the, the bonnet put your hand underneath there really uh, so I found some smaller screws with some rubber top hat attachments so that means they will be in rubber they won't melt and they're quite flexible but it's just this problem at the bottom here that's going to be a little worry I need to think about what I need to do about that so let's fall over <laughs> so I'll close up properly it seems to look more or less in line I think that needs to go up like that a bit you see that? Mm -hmm. So I think that's it for today. Um, bolts need to be sorted out. I need to sort that side out with the uh, epoxy putty. And I think uh, it's okay for now, but I can't really drive it like that because of that. So, this rude bike, let me just tripped over. Oof. We'll go right underneath there. And it will pull it about there. Okay, about there. So it's not too far out really from from the front of the van. So it fits to the the wishbones and the so I think that's all for now and thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Take care of yourselves. Bye.
Hello there. Hello there. Well, it's got a bit drier now. Uh, it's been raining a lot in the last uh, few days, uh, and it's pretty windy as well. Uh, but I so I think we've uh, about finished doing the, the bolts. Um, on. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> C'est le bêtisier. Put it at the end. <laughs> <laughs>